Hey fellow glitchers! Not only is this a really funny glitch, but it's actually pretty good therapy. That is, if you like circles. You probably have a few questions, but this glitch is fairly straightforward, and it's easy to pull off. But it's also easy to pull a muscle, as you'll find out later. Let's talk about the PSI magnet. The PSI magnet absorbs energy projectiles by sucking them in in a circular orbiting motion. This is usually limited to the inside of the PSI magnet's sphere. And how does the game know where the sphere is? Well, after the first frame that a projectile is absorbed, the game updates the sphere's position. Then it spirals around that point until it disappears and the recipient recovers some health. But since the position of a sphere is only updated after frame 1, if we cancel the PSI magnet on frame 1, the projectile will orbit around where it last got updated. And in the case that you haven't used PSI magnet yet, it'll orbit around the center of the stage. The best way to cancel the PSI magnet is by dodging. And luckily, we can't dodge until a projectile is absorbed. So you basically want to dodge as fast as you can. The way I did this was by using the PSI magnet, holding L, and then rapidly spinning the analog stitch in circles. I turned off tap jump to prevent any jumping in the case that you tap up on the analog stitch when the projectile is absorbed. When I did this, I spun the stitch so fast that I almost hurt myself. But you really don't need to do it that fast. Ness and Lutus's PSI magnets both absorb projectiles in different ways. Projectiles Ness absorbs travel in almost complete circles with only a small decrease in its radius each time. When you do this normally, it's hard to see that because the distance between the projectile and Ness is so small that it only takes one or two rotations to reach him. Lutus is not as exciting. Projectiles usually only circle around the center once before actually reaching the center. So Ness is like the spiral of Archimedes, and Lutus is more logarithmic. And since Ness's orbit lasts longer, I'll be using that one most of the time. Sorry Lucas. At its core, this is pretty much all you need to know about this glitch. But there's still some different things that can happen. Certain items can get stopped by collision when they orbit, but you have to be standing far away enough from the center of the orbit when you activate the glitch. Most stages will work if you set the center at one side and then perform the glitch at the opposite side. It worked the length of final destination, but when I rolled a little closer to the center, it didn't. When items get pushed by collision, there's a chance that the circle length can go on forever. You just need to be aware that the PSI magnet always sets things in counterclockwise, so make sure the slope that will push the object out corresponds to that. Flat surfaces will almost always mess it up. When items are stuck in this continuous loop, they will occasionally get stuck in corners, or spots that are concave. And this may cause them to do strange things. You can update the center of the orbit at any time by using your PSI magnet when a projectile is getting sucked in. And that applies in these cases. So if you want to get an item unstuck, mess around with different centers and see if that doesn't free it. Using the knowledge that the center of the orbit will default in the center of the stage, I put a circle on top of the center and got some items to spin around that. As fun as this is, there are actually some pretty cool things that come from simply performing this glitch on certain projectiles so I made a little compilation of most of the results I got.
Thanks to Loden Alleman for telling me about this. If you know of a glitch in Smash 4 and want to share it, just comment it below and I'll credit you if I use it. Thanks for watching! If you like glitches as much as me, then smash that subscribe button. And be sure to check out my Twitter if you want to know what I'm up to.